everyone, my name is Marsha Nuts, and today I'm opening some of your mail. So, I got quite a few letters, because I haven't done this in a while. But before I get into it, I just want to preface this by saying that I am super grateful to every single one of you who ever sent me anything. I am still sort of surprised that people actually want to send me stuff and I'm really really grateful but unfortunately this is going to be the last mail opening video for a while. When I opened my PO box I did say that I'm going to be doing mail opening videos for as long as I can realistically um, and now I feel a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of letters that I'm receiving even though as I said I'm super super grateful for them I just don't think it's realistic for me at this time to continue making these videos. They take quite a lot of time to film and edit and I just cannot fit it into my schedule anymore. So I'm really sorry, this is gonna be the last mail opening video for a while. My PO box is still open and is still going to be open uh, for the foreseeable future. I don't have any plans of closing that. And I'm still gonna to try to respond to every single letter that I get. So leave a return address if you want to get a response from me. I'm gonna to try to do that for as long as I can. I'm just not gonna be opening them on camera anymore after this one. So I'm sorry if that disappoints any of you. I know a lot of you are expecting for your letters to be opened on camera. So I'm sorry to disappoint, but as I said, it's just not feasible anymore for me to do. But that said, let's get into opening all of these. One more preface, I tried filming this a while ago when I had less letters and I opened some of them and then I lost the footage. So some of these letters are opened and I have bracelets like this beautiful, what is it, like a Scooby-Doo bracelet or something? I have all of these that I have no idea who they were from because I filmed that a while ago and I don't remember who these were from because there's a lot of them and I don't remember who is who. So I'm sorry because some of them are just loose bracelets. But I have them and thank you. This was really cute. This was actually reminded me of um when I used to do Scooby-Doo bracelets with my older sister. We used to make them when we were kids. So yeah, some of these are a little bit loose, so I'm sorry about that. Let's start with this one. This is from Bethany, and it has some really cute washi tape on the other side. Oh, the first thing I noticed is these cute little, I did a tutorial on bracelet book a while ago. I called it the two minute twisted bracelet. It's basically the twisted ties, but in form of a bracelet. I think these are really cute, thank you. Oh, and there's some string in here as well. A beautiful pink and a beautiful blue. I do want you to know that I have like a special box of stuff for people that sent me stuff. So I put all of this in a special box and I keep it there. Ooh, this is beautiful. There's some washi tape on like a laminated card here. Thank you, I really, I mean, you can see that. <laughs> I really like washi tape, so thank you. This is definitely going right here. <laughs> I love receiving gifts, it's like my birthday. Do you have like a laminator at home or something? Cause these are amazing. Like there's some pictures here and this looks like a bookmark. I'm assuming because you know I like to read. <laughs> Thank you very much for that as well. Hello Marsha, my name is Bethany. I'm from Tennessee in the USA. I have written you a couple of times before. I, I wanted to write again. I wanted to include a couple of bracelets for you. Uh, these, are these bracelets, as you can see, are not made with knots, rather with twisted ties technique as you usually use to end your bracelets. I'll be the first to say that I find these bracelets mesmerizing. I made several of the candy stripe chain link bracelets for different people. I started adding in matching twisted ties to the bracelet. I think it makes for a lovely combination. I think so too. Uh, uh, thank you very much for all the videos you make teaching different techniques. You're so kind to share that knowledge with others. I'm loving the mail opening videos as well, and the soap cutting video and the organizing threads video were extremely satisfying. All that thread and colors arranged was beautiful. I've stopped arranging my threads like that. I did a whole Instagram story about that. I've included a few extra things for you as well. Enjoy. I look forward to many more videos. Thank you. Sincerely, Bethany. P.S. The wasp picture on the bookwork was one that I took on my cell phone. It doesn't look impressive that small, but it was stunning in 8x10. I also entered that picture in my local fair along with my bracelet. I didn't win a prize, but I still think it's a neat picture. I think it's a really neat picture too. You took that on your cell phone. That is amazing. That's really cool. Thank you for your letter, Bethany, and thank you for the gifts. I really do feel like it's my birthday whenever I open these <laughs> letters and stuff. All right, let's head on to this one, which is a very cute little package with little hearts and stuff. I think that's really awesome. And you have a little sticker on the back as well. Oh, look at this card. That's so awesome. I love I love some glittery stuff. Dear Marsha Nuts, I'm 10 years old and I've been watching your videos for almost a year. I also love going to gymnastics. Your naughty friend, Nico. And there's a cute little bracelet inside here as well. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Nico. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but I'm glad you've been here for almost a year. That's a long time. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying my stuff. Next up, we have this one with a beautiful holographic sticker on the back. Oh, I love these. These are, so, these are DMC threads. 
These are like pastel. These are so cute. I love these. I really want to make a bracelet with them now. I'm like gonna put them aside. Oh wow, there's quite a lot here. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Hello Marsha, I'm Cassandra. I'm 17 and I live in Texas. And I'm a major craft lover. My hobbies have jumped from beading, crochet, knitting, creating friendship bracelets, bullet journaling, scrapbooking, pearl beads, diamond dots, and rainbow room. That's a lot of stuff. Out of which I've tried knitting a little bit, but friendship bracelets obviously, bullet journaling, scrapbooking kind of, I've tried as well. Pearl beads I used to do as a kid. Diamond dots, I don't even know what that is. And rainbow loom, I never really did, but my sister was really into that. Wow, when I put it in the list, that seems like a lot. It does seem like a lot, but that is awesome. I mostly had my phase of making friendship bracelets around third grade. Primarily, I would make the ones on the circle looms. I never really got into those. Those are the Kumihimo bracelets. I never got into those, but that's really cool. But I did attempt to make the type you show on your channel. I couldn't find them, but I distinctly recall making a chevron and a candy stripe that turned out pretty good. But that's when my bracelet making phase ended. However, I discovered your channel through the video of you organizing your thread. I heard a lot of people actually did that. <laughs> because who doesn't love a 30 minute video of, this, of a stranger sorting thread? Exactly. <laughs> It hasn't even been a month, uh, but I watched all of your videos and especially loved the two vlogs. That's great, because I'm posting a vlog. Actually, I think I posted a vlog right before this video, but I filmed it just now. <laughs> In one of your videos, you remarked how you love time lapses, and I do too. On my YouTube that I do with my friends, creative readers, I do bullet journal time lapses and I love seeing my journal go from nothing to something in hyperspeed. That's exactly why I love it as well. Moving on to the other content of this letter. First of all, the bracelet. Other than a big yikes, when I look at this bracelet, it's the first one I've made in years. Ah, let me show you the bracelet actually. And this is the bracelet. It's a cute little chevron. And I love how you described it as yikes. I mean, I can see what you mean, but like in a good way though, because I, I always find these like beginner bracelets really charming because you can obviously see that they're beginner bracelets like I genuinely don't mean this in an offensive way I mean this in the nicest way possible you can definitely see that this is a beginner bracelet but like I think that's what's charming about them I love looking back at my like beginner stuff and seeing how I did it back then you can really see like the amount of love and work that was put into bracelets like this because a person is trying their best for the first time or like for the first however many times to try and create something and it's really really awesome so yikes <laughs> but, I, but I like it. It's really cute. I'm gonna put this to the side as well. Thanks to your channel and your tutorial. After making this, it was extremely frustrating and, and nearly gave up all over again. Uh, but I bought new thread and for a fresh start. You may think the color choices are a bit odd, but they were inspired by Percy Jackson. Orange and black for the camp of Half-Blood and purple and yellow for the camp of Jupiter. Also, all I had left over from years ago, besides a tangled mess, was gradients. Even though it's rough, it's a starting point and I'm glad it's in your possession now. I'm glad it's in my possession now also. I really do cherish like all of the bracelets and stuff that I get sent. As I said, I do have like a separate box that I keep them all in. I also included four streaks that I think would make a beautiful bracelet and they're all pastel. Yes. <laughs> uh, so do with them what you will. Thank you for taking the time to read this and I'll see you in the comment section. I'll see you in the comment section as well. And I see you have a return address, so I will be replying. Next up we have this letter. Dear Marsha Nuts, hello, my name is Abigail and I am 12 years old. I'm the oldest of four kids. I live in Pennsylvania and my family has lived all over. My parents were born and raised in Pennsylvania, then moved to Virginia. Then when I was seven, we moved to Kansas for one year, then back to Virginia for three years, and then we moved up here. I started making bracelets in April and I found your channel through the Chain like Candy Stripe video. You inspired me to make my first alpha. As soon as I started watching your videos, my bracelets got so much better. I'm really glad to hear that. You are the best YouTuber of all time. You are so inspiring. Love, Abigail. Sorry the slide is all over the place. If you write me back, I will send you another. I will most definitely write you back, Abigail. And thank you so much for your kind words. It's really great to know that like I'm helping people and I'm inspiring people. Because I mean, I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. Like doing YouTube is a very weird thing. Um, and it can sometimes feel a little bit isolating because I just sit in my room and I talk to my camera, which is a bit weird. Really is a bit weird. Like I feel weird right now. But then you sort of get used to it. Uh, but it does, it does feel a little bit isolating in that sense. You don't, you don't see your audience, you see a camera. So it's nice to know that there are actually people behind that camera later on <laughs> once it gets edited and posted. So yeah, thank you very much, Abigail, and I most definitely will be writing back. So I have this letter from Alyssa. First thing that comes up is this cute little bracelet. I love the color combinations of this, and also it's a really cute sort of thin pattern. I like these. Hello Marsha, my name is Alyssa and I'm 22 years old and I live in Idaho in the USA. I love all things craft related. I knit, embroider, make make epoxy glitter tumblers. I have no idea what that is. Oh, 
Oh, it's like those, how do you call them? I guess like tumbler is an American word because I've never heard that word before. But the stuff you drink out of, right? That's amazing, that's really awesome. And I'm obsessed with making friendship bracelets. I learned how to make friendship bracelets when I was about 10 and I've been in love with it since. Another fun fact about me is that I've worked at a Michael Craft store and I love it. That is amazing. I bet you get a massive discount and just buy stuff <laughs> all the time. That's really cool. Much like you, I married my first boyfriend and we've been happily married for a year next month. For us, it's gonna be a year in what, two months? All right, enough about me, let's talk about you. How long have you and your husband been together? My husband and I only dated for seven months before getting married. Well, for us, it was much longer than seven months. Uh, we got together when I was 14. So it's been seven years. So at the time of our wedding, it was six years. So quite a long time. <laughs> Where do you live? Don't worry, I don't, I'm not looking for specifics. I live in London and I live on the south bank of London. So in the more sort of poor neighborhoods cause like the posh neighborhoods are up north. <laughs> what is your favorite band? I saw in your story that you love Panic at the Disco. I love Brandon Urie's voice. Yes, I do love Panic at the Disco, but I also love like a bunch of other bands. Um, I always find this question like really difficult, but like The Killers, Three Days Grace, Linkin Park, like those types of brands are really like brands. Bands. And then Alyssa says that she awaits my reply, which I will definitely be writing. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look at that, that's so awesome. I find it so weird that people draw me, but this is so cute. This is really, really awesome. I need to make like a board with all the drawings and stuff that people sent me. I'm gonna put this off here. September 24th, and also I love, I love the washi tape, that's so cute. Hey Marsha, please excuse the shaky handwriting and bad spelling. Your handwriting is like literally perfect. <laughs> Perks of being an artist. I've been watching your videos since January of this year and I didn't realize you were following me. <laughs> I follow quite a lot of you guys actually. I mean, not like a lot because there's many more of you than the amount that I follow, but I feel like it's a lot. I watch your videos when I don't have any motivation. I hope you and your Stardew Valley fam is going well and maybe we could multiply sometime. My Stardew Valley fam is going really well, thank you. I've actually never multiplied with anybody. I don't know how to do that. Can somebody like teach me? Cause I would love to. Like if any of you play Stardew Valley, like I would love to multiply with you. That'd be awesome. From Emma aka Honey PhD. I just realized who you are. You should have started with that. <laughs> because I just realized who you are. Yeah, Honey PhD, I, I mean, I've been following you for a while. I mean, I watch all your stories and stuff. I followed you back in like, yeah, in like January, I think. Hopefully there's a drawing in here. If not, I rage quit. Yes, there's a drawing in here and it was really cute. But yeah, I definitely, I mean, I, I know you. I know quite a lot of you, like a lot of you, like I say no very loosely because obviously like it's the internet and nobody ever really knows anybody. But like I follow quite a lot of you on Instagram and stalk your stories all the time. You're one of those people. Okay, this one is like taped all over. This is so cute. Look at this. Look at this package. It's awesome. I love it. And I love the little thing at the bottom as well. <laughs> okay, let's start with the bracelets because these are, oh wow, these are awesome. These are so cool. I need the pattern number for this because I wanna make one. This is awesome. I love it and the colors as well. And then this one. Like, I don't know if it's like some kind of special technique or if it's just because the pattern is like that. It sort of comes up wonky on the sides, but like, I love that. It's sort of like bubbles. I don't know, it's like waves. This is awesome. Thank you, these are great. And also inside we have this one. I think this is called wax string, is it? I don't know. We have this beautiful bracelet as well, which is like a combination of different string here. And then Eileen, your name is Eileen. So Eileen has a shop on Etsy. She also has an Instagram and a YouTube and she left her little thing inside. So if you want to check out Eileen, then check her out here because she sent me some wonderful cool stuff. So that's awesome. And there's also some awesome stickers which look like she did them herself, but I'm not sure. You have this one, which is spread joy, a save the bees sticker, which is really cute. And every day is Earth Day. I love the way that these are designed. They're really awesome. I need to think of somewhere I can use these. Cause like, I love it when people send me stuff and my first instinct is to like, keep it in a box somewhere and not use it. But like, they're made to be used. I want to use these. How can I use these? All right, let me actually read the letter here. Hello, my name is Eileen. I'm a college student in the United States, Michigan. Your videos have really inspired me to start making bracelets this summer. I use your tutorials to learn different ways to start and finish bracelets, and I've been selling them in my Etsy shop, as well as at local craft sales. Since starting college, making bracelets has really become a fun thing for me to do in the evenings after class as well. Thank you for all that you do, and I hope you're having a great day. From Eileen. I am having a great day, partially because I love getting these letters. These are so cute. Uh, also included some of the stickers that I've made. See, yes, I thought that these were self-made. And a wax cord 
the bracelet that I learnt to make very recently. Questions, what did you study in university? I'm still studying, I'm in my last year, and I don't really want to get into like specifics. I mean, I'm going to tell you once I actually finish what I studied, but I don't want to say specifically what I'm studying now because it's a pretty specific degree and I think you can find my university and thus me, which I think is a little bit creepy. I don't want people to know where I live because privacy. <laughs> but uh, just in the general terms, I do a lot of programming. Um, I do a lot of design. We've got like visual design, we have animation, we have 3D modeling. We do a lot of that kind of stuff, but also like heavy programming as well. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm into. Basically like digital media. Do you have a favorite normal bracelet pattern to make? Not really. I like to make patterns that can be easily segment knotted and look cool, but I don't really have a specific pattern, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. So thank you very much, Eileen. These were really awesome. So this is what I was talking about. Like these were ones that I opened. I'm not sure. I think these came from the same person, but I'm not sure. So I have this, which is all beautiful and in rainbow. And it says, hello, Marsha. Recently I found your channel. I found it through my recommended page. I have made braces before, only candy strips though. And I thought I might make a new pattern. My name is Anais. I think that's how you say it. And I'm 11 years old and I'm from Australia. I made the chain lit candy stripe and a few chevrons for my friends. They really like them, so it's safe to say I'll be making braces for a long time. I hope I can get as good as you sometime. Thank you very much for your letter. This was a really, a very lovely written letter. And I think these are from the same person, but I'm not sure, because I filmed this a while ago. <laughs> but we've got this cutie, and we also have what I'm assuming is me. <laughs> that's awesome. I really like that. And also there's a package that has a little chevron in it. And it's this cute little tiny chevron. I really like the color combination of this. It's really cute. And then there's also some loose stuff in here. This might have been from Ava. The braces, I'm sorry. I, as I said, these, these are loose right now. I really don't know who this is from. If you're watching this, please comment because I have no idea. Dear Masha not how are you? I hope good. I am good. <laughs> Uh, to introduce me, I'm Ava. I was the one DMing you, talking about how your channel has helped me and what websites would help me. Included is one of my favorite bracelets. Thank you so much for reading. And hi, YouTube. My mom picked out the bracelet colors. I didn't know the size, so I kind of guessed. Sorry if it doesn't fit and sorry if it's messy. I think this one also is from Ava. I'm really sorry. Oh, this one's like really woolly. It's made out of yarn, I think. Look how cute. I really like this one as well. But yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know. Yeah, that's a mess because I uh, I opened this a while ago and I don't know who it's from. Okay, I've got this one from Bailey, who I actually know who this is from. It's like, can we appreciate this like cute packaging? I really like that. Ooh, wow. Okay, okay, look at this. There's like a bracelet thing coming out of it. I don't have any words. This is amazing. You have like all these different compartments. I'm gonna take the bracelet out first because, oh, that's so cute. Cute! I love this color combination, that's so awesome! Those greens go so well with the blues. Those are such awesome colors, and also it's really well made. This is beautiful, I love it, oh! But also like, wow, this is like so aesthetic. I'm gonna try and send like a really aesthetic one back, but ooh, it's probably not gonna be as aesthetic as this, this is amazing! I don't know what to open first, is it this? Should I open this one? It's like a mystery, this is amazing. This letter is personal, please don't read on camera. Thank you for including that, because otherwise I would have. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that then for later. Oh, there's some washi tapes in here, look at that. That's awesome, I love washi tapes. I hope you're going into my collection. This won't stop squeaking, it's annoying me. And there's some stickers in here, yeah! I'm so excited, there's this cute little sticker like this. And there's a bunch of other ones in here. I'm not gonna open them, because then they will fly everywhere. There's a lot of really small ones, but I'm gonna open them later. But like, here's a little look into what's in here. That is awesome. And also I'm like super excited to read the letter now. I will put it off for later then. And I will definitely be replying because like, wow. <laughs> but I mean, I'll be replying to all of these um, if you've left a return address. This one was already open. So this is probably the one with the, this is Australia. So this is probably, yes, this is from that. Got like a massive package here. Two Marsha knots with like some stickers as well. I really like that. Ooh. Oh, look at that, there's like two Starburst bracelets in here. This one and this one. I love the colors, there's like, like sunset colors, I guess. And there's a cute little card. I love a cute little card. Oh, and there's a letter inside there. I hope this card makes you smile, as I couldn't leave it in the shop, it's too cute. It does make me smile, it's very cute, thank you. To Maria, I'm a huge fan of your videos. I found you through my recommendations on YouTube, and I was hooked right away. I ordered the plie 100 pack and 96 
black and white, and I'm loving making friendship bracelets. I've made several for my four-year-old niece, and she loves them, no matter what they look like. That's kids for you, they're amazing. I've decided to make some bracelets to sell for the MSPCC. I don't know what that is. What is the MSPCC? National Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children. That is an amazing cause, for sure. So I'm using a lot of green and white thread. I hope I can raise some money for the charity. That's amazing. Good for you, that's really, really great. I've been wanting to do something for charity um, for some time as well. I just don't really know where to start, like how to do that. So if anybody can like message me and help me, that would be awesome. Like reach out to me and like tell me how to do that. I'm not like in a position where I can donate a lot of money because I don't have a lot of money. I'm a student, um, but I think I can do something. I don't know, I wanna do something with my channel. Anyway. When I saw the patterns for the August challenge, I decided that I preferred the one chosen for you and I thought that I would make an experiment with a teardrop loop and a triangle ends and start. I didn't cut the threads very long because I thought I was just testing the pattern out a bit, but I thought you might like to see the difference between two different starts and two different ends. I love the different bracelets that you make and I hope you continue to make them as long as you can. I will. <laughs> Thank you again for all the videos. Sorry my handwriting, sometimes I struggle with it. Hopefully you can read this letter and if you want, my return address is in the card. Yes, your return address is in the card and I will be replying. But yeah, I really like those bracelets, they're really cool. So we have this one which I opened as well for the previous time I filmed this. And this one is really cute. Look at this, this is so awesome, it's so cute. And then there's two little bracelets inside. That's super awesome as well, I really like them. And I really like the charm as well, that's really cute. It's a very beautiful charm, I really like that charm. And we also have some bracelets here. We have one here with like some beads and stuff. It's very cute. We have this one, which I think is very creative and very awesome. I like it a lot. And we have this beautiful alpha as well. Okay, let's actually read what it says. Hello, my name is Jessica, I'm 24 and I have a lovely fiance and we have a four year old son. I've been making bracelets for about seven years and you have taught me a lot. I came across you on YouTube and I've been watching you for a while. I've had my Instagram for a while now, but I've never really posted. You inspired me to be active and post more. I just did my first giveaway and it went great. Thank you for inspiring me. Your bracelets are so amazing. Here are some of the bracelets that I have made. Hope you love the card. Me and my sister made it. And there's a return address. I love the card and I love the bracelets. They're so awesome. And I'm really glad to hear that I've like, oh, my head is cut off. <laughs> ah, oh, this. Stay. Thank you. This is really awesome to hear. And I will be most definitely sending you. You guys have to start writing your letters with your username on Instagram because that's how I know you. When you say my name is Jessica, I don't know who that is until I saw on the letter that is bracelet by Jessie. I've been following you for like a year as well. Cause like you've been following me for about a year. I've been following you for about a year. Start with your usernames cause I don't know who you are otherwise. But I know who you are. Thank you, Jessie. This is amazing. Um, as I said, I've, I've been following you for a while. So like it's, it's awesome to put like something to the username as well. Okay, we have this one. Something in there. Dear Maria, my name is. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then it says Timmy if you don't know how to pronounce that. Timia? I don't know. Timmy. Timmy. <laughs> I am 15 years old and I'm from Slovakia. When I was 11, I was moving with my family, found a book about making friendship bracelets. In April, when I found your YouTube channel, I was amazed that this community is so big. I didn't expect that so many people liked doing friendship bracelets. That's my point exactly. I didn't expect so many people liked making friendship bracelets. So when people started watching my videos and like enjoying my videos, and the fact that I'm now at like 50,000 subscribers is insane to me. I thought maximum that I would ever get was like 2,000. That was like the most I ever could have wished for because I didn't realize the community was this big. <laughs> Thanks to this community, I didn't feel alone. Same here. I started because nobody in my real life wanted to talk to me about bracelets. Uh, I started using crimp ends and now bracelets look really professional. I packed your little gift. I hope you liked it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Look at that. That's so cute. That's so tiny though. Like. What kind of strings do you use? These are so tiny. That's so small. That's like a full blown dovetail, but it's so tiny. How, what strings do you use? I'm genuinely curious now. Also, these look like the crimp pens that I use as well. This is really awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, I have this one from Bren Lee. Dear Masha, my name is Bren Lee. The first time I came across your channel around February, um, I really got into making bracelets of different kinds. And since you started a PO box, I got super excited and wanted to send you something. I hope you find them interesting. It would be very fun to watch you make one of the bracelets. And there are these cute little bracelets inside here. Oh, this is one of the um, wax strings. 
bracelets as well. And then, I have no idea how to, what, like, how do you say this? Beads? Are these made of beads? Like these cute little flowers. And then this is definitely made out of beads. It's like, obviously, bigger beads. And it's also a flower. And then you have cute little candy stripe made out of embroidery floss. Thank you very much. These are really, really cute. Next up, we have this one, which also has, before I start reading the letter, a little candy strip, distorted candy strip bracelet. Dear Marsha, hi, my name is Ashley and I'm 13. I'm gonna be 14 next month. I'm fairly certain I found your channel on the homepage of YouTube. The first video I followed was a tutorial on which you did the scattered candy strip. Oh yeah, the scattered candy strip, that's what I called it. It was also the first bracelet I made. Not the wisest choice. Yeah, that's probably not the first bracelet you should start by making. I just got done watching a second mail opening video and that's what expired yeah. and, and that's what inspired me to write this letter to you. I started making bracelets a couple of months ago. The first bracelet that I got the hang of was the chain lit candy stripe. So far I've made six bracelets, one work in progress and three charms. I gave four of the bracelets away. The bracelet in this letter is the first bracelet I made while trying out the straight edges technique. At the time I didn't know how to end bracelets or make proper ties. I still haven't gotten the hang of how much thread to leave at the top but I'm working on it. I was really excited when I saw you get a PO box, so I'm glad I finally wrote you a letter. Sincerely, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. I'm really glad that you reached out. And this is a cute little bracelet, and I most definitely will be responding. Okay, next up, we have this one. There's also a laminated card in here. Florida. Hey, Marsha, my name is Bethany. I live in Tennessee in the USA. I've written to you before. I think I've literally read another letter of yours. This is how long I haven't made an <laughs> opening video. Oh, but two of these have already gotten to me. I also asked your permission to enter the bracelet in my local county fair. Yeah, I think this was the first one and that was that one. I'm very excited to share with you that my bracelet won first prize. That's amazing. I've never won first prize in anything, so help thank you for helping me get my first place award. That's amazing. I'm really glad I could help. It was a highlight of my summer. I was also excited to see how your eyes lit up in the mention of my pen pal. Her name is Hannah and she was excited to get mentioned in your mail opening video that you did with your sister. By the way, Hannah says hello. Hello again, Hannah. And I for one think you should definitely get a pen pal. Uh, getting fun, happy mail is my all time favorite thing. I get mail from you guys as well and I love that. And I also respond a lot, so that's awesome. Uh, once again, thank you for helping me learn a new skill and to win a first place. I'm really glad I could help you and it's awesome. That's awesome. I have this letter. Ooh, there's a distorted chevron in here as well. Dear Marsha, I love watching your videos. You inspired me so much. Around two or three months ago, I found a tutorial for a bracelet and I watched and I loved it. The pattern wasn't too hard for me at the time. Now I have learned how to read patterns. That's amazing. The bracelet that I sent you was one of the challenging bracelets. I had to remake it three times. It isn't very long because I didn't have enough string. But no, I am giving it to you. I have learned so much from you. The loop on this bracelet was my very first loop and I think it turned out pretty good. I want to give so much thanks to you. You inspired me to start making bracelets and now I love it. I'm from Nebraska, so it's kind of hard to find good string to use and make to make bracelets. I started making bracelets when I was nine, and I didn't know much back then, but I found you and have learned so much. I can't wait to learn more from you in the future. From Ainsley. Thank you very much, Ainsley. This is a really cute bracelet, and I am really happy that I could help you. This is awesome. And also, it's very well made. Loop as well. Great job. <laughs> I will also be responding. And this one is from Beth, who I think sent me a letter before. Oh, it's so cute. Yes. I remember Beth. Oh, there's some stuff in here as well. Oh, there's some 10 random Pokemon cards. I've got some Pokemon cards. <laughs> That's interesting. And there's a cute little Chinese staircase bracelet. Look at Beth's letter. This is so cute and so aesthetic. Dear Marsha, it's Beth. As soon as your letter came through the mail, my mom and I felt nothing but joy and excitement that you had replied. That's so awesome. And I will be replying again, so. <laughs> That's cool. There's some washi tape over here. If you're wondering why I covered this page in washi tape, it's just because I got some this morning. Oh, and P.S. I added some random Pokemon cards just for fun. And of course, I included a bracelet. Oh yeah, that's the, I think it was supposed to be attached here, but this is so awesome. I really like this. Thank you very much, Beth. So yeah, that's it for now. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. That's awesome. This was a very long video to film and it's probably going to be a very long video in the edit as well. Um, as I said, unfortunately, this is going to be the last one for a while that I do. Maybe I will do another one in the future, but I'm not promising anything because they do take quite a lot of time um, to film and to edit. So I, I just, I don't think I can keep up with it now that I'm doing university as well. So I'm really sorry if I'm disappointing anyone. One, but I will most certainly be reading all of them and I will most certainly be responding to all of the letters that I get So you can still send me letters and I will still try to reply. So thank you very much for watching uh, I've now changed my posting schedule. I post on Wednesdays and Saturdays um, And sometimes I also post bonus videos and stuff in between. So thank you very much for watching Thank you for sending me all of this 
wonderful meal. If you also want to send me something, there is an address in the description, as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.